what was your favorite gold saucer minigame? I know we haven't gotten to all of them yet, but I think I really like the bike one so far. What about you? Unfortunately, the fun and games are going to be over today. Something very serious is about to go down. So let's see what happens in today's episode. Thank you guys for watching. Wonderment. We gotta go to Wonderment Skywheel. all dancing out here? It's kind of weird. <laughs> what is going on here? All right, you guys have fun with that. Welcome to Couples Hour at Skywheel Square. Cuddle up with a partner in our cozy gondolas and see our golden paradise in a whole new light. Escape the crowds, share a private moment together, and experience dazzling sights and sounds. The memories you make here are sure to last a lifetime. More of a couple's thing. What's going on? I... Uh, I don't know. Your attention, please! We are currently experiencing some minor technical difficulties. While our technicians are working hard to resolve this issue, for your safety, we ask that you follow all staff instructions. Over here, folks. Our friendly cast members will show you the way. Thank you so much for understanding, and have a wonderful day. <sighs> Cloud, we've got trouble! Kate Sith? Get to the Coliseum, on the double! Why? Because between you and me, there's been a wee shooting in the lobby over there. And the word around the saucer is that a man with a gun for an arm was the perpetrator. What? I'll round up your pals for you, all right? Now get going. There's not a moment to lose. Okay, so I was immediately thinking the same thing that Doom pointed out. Um... In this version, they make it obvious who did it, but in the OG, it was more of a mystery. And I'm kind of a... I don't... I mean, I feel like I prefer right now how they do it in the original. How it's just like, you know, there's... It's very mysterious, it's very spooky and creepy, and it's just kind of like very... feels very dire, and then you don't even, like... You think that it's Barrett who did it because all you hear is like, there's, you know, if you're in a hurry, please this horrible a things happened yeah. and um, someone with a gun on an, on his arm and you think, oh my God, Barrett, like, you know, we just got to corral. People were, um, we strongly all are closed. Sure the uh, treating him really area. poorly. He's under a lot of stress right now. We don't know the full story of his relationship with everything that, ha you know, as far as everything that happened in the past. And so you think like, oh my gosh, like Barrett's lost, maybe he's kind of just lost it, you know? And here they just come out and show that it it's not Barrett, it's somebody else with a gun for an arm. 
because when you find out that it was not Barrett, but somebody else with a gun for an arm, it's like, oh my God, like I didn't even think about that possibility. Please move swiftly and calmly to the designated square. So yeah, I, I wonder why they changed it. They must have had a reason because that feels like a very significant change to me. I'm sorry, sir, but only authorized personnel are allowed past here. Ring, ring. No, uh, excuse me. Please go clear it. What the bird? Copy that, sir. Apologies for the delay. Please. Thank you. Found a place to transport the bodies? Evacuate the guests first. Bodies. Get on the other squares. That's not good. I don't need to rest. Not really. Report back to the director once you've taken witness statements. Get me a sit rep on the other squares. It's like I told you, someone went in a rampage, and now... I'll take it from here. I am Dio. As park director, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this, our gilded paradise. <laughs> Read the room? We meet again, young man. If you'd like to go another round, I'm always game. There are dead bodies Seriously? here? Seriously? Hello? Hmm. A director from head office was attending a Coliseum match earlier when their security detail was gunned down. Both guests and staff were caught in the crossfire. That's terrible. The assailant took care to knock out the cameras. And so we have no image of their face. But according to eyewitness reports, it was a man with a gun grafted to one arm. And that's when it hit me. I knew this man. He was one of several fugitives we were warned to be on the lookout for. Nigh as tall and muscular as I, yet brash and brazen with an ever-present scowl that smolders behind his sunglasses and a gun for an arm. Tell me, does that sound like anyone you might know? Now wait a minute. Barrett might have a temper, but he'd never do this. Though I'd like nothing more than to believe you. This tells a very different tale. No, we... Listen, this couldn't have been Barrett. And what makes you say that? The cameras. It's not his style to avoid the limelight. If he really did kill all these people, he would have had a damn good reason. One that he'd want the world to know about. He'd have made sure you had the footage. Trust me. He makes a good point. Well, you do not want for loyalty, which is a quality close to my heart. But this is a serious matter. Mere character statements will not suffice. I'll tell you what. Find me the true perpetrator, and I will declare your friend innocent. You have 24 hours, after which you will all be deemed complicit, clapped in chains, and delivered to Shinra. <clears throat> Insurance. In the event you decide to make a break for it. We won't need to. Good. Now 
now go before the Turks beat you to the punch. Wait, the Turks are here? <laughs> Competition's good this for guy the is soul. Too much. Our culprit awaits below, my scrappy friends. In the name of justice, go forth. If you care to follow me, I will be your faithful guide. And the elevator is that way. This way, folks. Let's Quick go. As you like. Follow the pudding cat. Ooh, is this like a planetarium? Or it's just the... I don't know, this whole place is so strange. This the whole place is like a giant planetarium. is called the Dust Bowl, and it is nasty. Once upon a time, it was where the gold saucer employees used to live. But when hordes of fiends started appearing, the staff relocated up top where it was safe. The building's vacant. All sorts of lowlives, ruffians, and ne'er-do-wells swooped in to stake their claim. Ah, the place it could have been tears me up inside. So, basically another wall market. Ha! A paradise compared to this cesspool. Set one foot inside and it's farewell freedom, so long dignity. I mean, why else do you think they started calling it Corel Prison? Except that prison's got no bars, no rules. Muggy, maim, murdery, it's all on the table. In summary, prepare yourselves for one seriously cold reception. Oh, well, sounds great. Our little holiday has our turned... Stop quite not nice See what the map looks like. Um, it's not really too helpful. Just go straight, I guess. Hmm? Nobody home? Oh, they're home, all right. Stay sharp. Yuffie, where are you going by yourself? It's not safe. <laughs> Shit. Welcome. Rise and shine. Huh? Top of the morning to you. <laughs> well, now, wouldn't try that if I was you. <laughs> All right, follow me. Uh, uh. <laughs> Off we go. You just wait right there. Who are these people? Hey, boss! Your guests are here! <laughs> Woo! Hell yeah! Allow me to welcome you to my desert oasis, Cloud. Welcome. Cloud, right? Uh, merc for hire? 
Got it in one, boss man. But which <laughs> one of you is it? Is it you? Mm -hmm. You? Maybe you? Mm -hmm. Or is it the pooch? <gasps> I'm just messing with you. That bear is our man. <laughs> what about the cat? Of course we haven't met. You got brain damage? Dumbass. I'm not the type of player Dumbass. folks tend to forget. Look at it. Now, you may not know me, but I know you. And why do you think that is, think? Mr. Mercenary? Mm -hmm. Who is the parrot I'll talking in the why. back? Because it's my business to know. Yeah. And what kind of businessman would I be if I didn't have this scoop on the man who brought down Donny C? Yeah. Let Think me just say, it. bravo. Well done. We're looking for someone. Hey there, hi there, ho there. No need to explain. Intel's my bread and butter. Really gotta tell you twice? Uptown secrets always trickle down. Which is why I'm ever so certain that you'll be useful. What do you want? So the son of a bitch with a gun for an arm? This I got him under man. lock and key. Out in the middle of the dunes. Now I'm a generous guy, so I'd be happy to tell you where to find so him. Generous. But only if I get a little something from so you first, understand? A little something being a shitload of money. I want stacks of it, heaps of it, mountains of it. I mean, did you hear what he did? Your buddy shot Shinra troopers in broad friggin' daylight. So I ain't about to give him up for free. You think my prison runs on good deeds? No, sir. It runs on guilt. So much so goddamn guilt. So yeah, Gil, that's what I want. And relax, I know you don't have it on you, but I got an idea on how you can scrape some together. <laughs> I'm entering you and one lucky chocobo in the races, and you are gonna win. <laughs> oh, here we go, Tell here we go. Bacon, I'm gonna hold on to your piggies. Right, help, help us out. Oh, hey, chill out, kiddo. We'll take excellent care of you. Man, this Unless song, you fail though. To deliver, in which case, well, let's just say... There are plenty of other ways to raise the funds I require. Hmm. Can put a price on anything. Trick. Ah, uh ah. -uh. That's Gus to you. Got that, jockey boy? As for all those pesky race details, talk to Garth here. I got you, boss man. Don't let me down, huh? Later. All right, Mr. Merc, let's go meet your bird. <laughs> Better stick close, you hear? <laughs> well, this is a fine state of affairs. New Queen's Blood players await in the Dust Bowl. Wow, okay. I just hope they're safe out there. Should we really be playing Queen's Blood right now when there are our friends are all locked away? No need to worry about us. We can handle ourselves. Good luck. We're rooting for you. I wish Gus treated me. Okay, Aerith is rooting for me. I can do anything, anything at all. That's right. You can follow me. Or run for it. Go on. See how far you get. Sit with us a while. How do I get out of here? Oh, Jesus. So bright. I think I did miss miss a line <laughs> during that. What did they say? I was too busy jamming. I was grooving out. He looked at the girls and said, of course, there are other ways of raising the funds. Okay, I figured it would be something like that. Okay, so there's a little bit going on here. Desert Rush. Well, let's follow him for now, I guess. Yo! Brought your new champ! Hmm. He's all yours. So, you're Cloud the Merc. <laughs> Can't say I was expecting someone so pretty. Pretty shrimpy. I'm Esther, Chocobo Wrangler. Pleasure. Wait, Cloud? Billy? Aren't you that kid from the ranch? Well, hang on. You two know each other? What happened? <gasps> we were making our way to the saucer for Pico's racing debut. Pico. When these ones nabbed us. <gasps> Hold up. How about you, you nabbed tell them the Billy? Real story? 
How you were dying out there in the dunes? How we saved your scrawny ass? <sighs> Ungrateful little piece of shit. So, you want me to race Pico? <laughs> the one and only. Oh, hell yeah! In that state? We'll fix the right up. Our trek through the desert did a real number on him. Him. Can or whatever. The claw. If he doesn't eat and regain his strength, I don't fancy his chances. Oh, Good thing no. his jockey's on the job. Pico needs food, and you're gonna find it. <sighs> Fine. I'm coming too. Okay then. Grab that bird some grub and bring it to me. I'll be waiting. They have the nerve to kidnap my son Billy? It ain't fair. No one will notice if I sneak And Pico? Oh, well, this is really cool. That they put Billy, you know, or in chapter two or whatever, and then now he's here. And it makes sense. It makes perfect sense. It doesn't feel forced at all. That's so cool, Billy. Don't you dare go disappointing my man, Gus. How come we all get to eat veggies? It ain't fair. No one will notice when I sneak a few, right? No one wants a run of the mill chocobo. Ooh. I don't have enough gold plumes to buy all this stuff. I'll wait till I get more. You have fun. I like your hair, though. Of yours. All right, so. Come on, Billy. Come on, Billy. Oh no. Mr. Is this what Gus I think it is? The one. The only. Desert Rush. For a limited time only. If you earn the high score, you'll get some rare greens. Step right up and give it a try. <sighs> oh boy. This was not my favorite <laughs> mini game ever. <laughs> de-stress oh yeah it's de-stress yeah it's not stressful at all like the derelicts of the dust bowl by whacking some boxes destroy as many boxes as possible within the time limit each broken box okay in order to break your boxes first destroy enough shock boxes to power them Okay, I'm sure it'll make sense once we get there. Devise a plan of attack using the hit activated elevators to move between floors and whack your way to victory. Oh god. 42,000. Let's do it! Huh? So what do I do with this?
Uh, confusing. Great job out there. Got some greens for you, as promised. It ain't fair. No one will notice my sneak of view, right? Pico's been feeling peckish. We're gonna need more than that. It's a start. But nowhere near enough. Yeah, I'd say you're looking pretty good. Better with the next one, even if it kills you. Where do I get more? Chadley? <laughs> hey, Cloud, it's me, Chadley. This is a considerably dangerous location, so I decided to disguise myself. How did I do? Costumes Great. Like these are known to elicit a calming effect, so I should be safe. A tonberry, though? Unfortunately, we can't say the same for Baron. I'm confident of his innocence, though, and I will do everything in my power to help prove it. Thank you, Chadley. I wish you all the best in your ongoing hunt for world intel. Remember, it's thanks to Gus that y'all get to do your business in peace. So show him some gratitude. Thinking of making a run for it, are you? You wouldn't last longer than a day out there, pretty boy. Keep your noses to the grindstone, uh, people. You better pray. I want to go explore. Oh, wait, right here. Leave the green hunting to you. Okay. All right, Billy. <laughs> My son, Billy. I guess I have assessed them. These ones, they're weak to ice. All right, let's just uh, be nice and quick That's about it. it, huh? Gravity? Oh, hell no. All done. Oh, no, you don't. <gasps> Cactuar! No! <laughs> My greens! Oh. Yes. 
What am I doing? Blizzard. Bundle up. I don't know what in the world has happened to my HP, but it's not in a good spot right now. We don't need to assess you. You're weak to wind. Uh, what else does it say? Attacking the aura that shrouds them will produce tornadoes. The aura will weaken with each tornado spawn, and once it is vanished, the drake will become pressured. Attacking from behind will weaken the aura without creating tornadoes. Interesting. Let's get haste. Or we could slow it. Let's get haste on us. Double time. hit it that time right well cloud literally will not okay whatever i don't care i just don't care let's finish this nothing to it that was weird Maybe I misunderstood the directions. Maybe I just read something wrong. This is the right way. Caution. Rock slides. Oh, that sounds fun. Get him go. we were let's check out the view i wonder what that green stuff is on that structure out there i'm guessing we might have a quest that might have something to do with it a green house maybe actually i don't know weird Weaknesses. 
Let's hustle. It's on now. Great job, guys. Haste is really nice. Brace yourself. You're mine. Super fast. Yeah. Just like that, okay? Impressive, Mr. Cloud. <laughs> Watch him just thousand needles our ass. We'd be okay though, right? Yeah, we have three thousand HP. <laughs> Why did it do fire? I didn't mean to do that. Freeze. That's it. Nothing to it. Come back, my greens. Greens. What's this? Another HP up. I have like 10 of these now. Not really, but I think I have like at least six. Should I? Am I going to have like a tough fight or a boss fight? Should I use um, an ether? We have 23. I don't think it would hurt to use a couple. We'll go one. Here's some of this green stuff. Looks like slime. green rocks look at all the little wild cactuars oh god i have to fight them this seems kind of messed up oh, oh no i'm gonna die Jesus! That's my third game over! No! <laughs> to the Cactuars! Holy hell, how do I fight them? Best is right. Okay, hitting them with physical ATB commands will pressure them, though typically too fast to strike, they will be susceptible to attack when pressured or while using abilities of their own. Ah! Holy god damn it! Oh, like what the hell? Why is it 3,000 needles? Okay. Um. <laughs> Holy shit. Ah! 
game over, huh? What? Listen to those little fuckers. Barrier and first strike. Revival earrings could be a thing. about coming into their home and just massacring all of them but not anymore jeez i i died how many times to them two or three i like at least doubled my deaths in this game on those damn cactuars Four thousand gilly gill. People around the prison have been telling me they keep their birds sand baths to get them clean. Wonder if it's any better party than a standard brush down. Maybe I'll give it a try with Pico. Sand bath. I wouldn't want to take a sand bath. Sand in your butt crack? Hell no. All right, where's Pico's little pen at? Here we are. Wrestled up some quality stuff, did you? Get him in great shape with a touch more. I'm on it. How come y'all can eat veggies? It ain't. Why do they make this so difficult to find this stuff? Only unveiling the art. Be you, sir, have excellent timing. I'm conducting a seminar and would appreciate your help. And what is this for your assistance rest assured you will be handsomely rewarded 
All you just need, need to some bird do is food. speak with my lovely pupils here. Four of these folks are lying, while one and only one is telling the truth. Your job is Can't to I just find the fight odd something? one out. Ah, there's also a small fee to participate, but I'm sure you won't mind. Conniving Caglio is holding a seminar, instilling five aspiring swindlers with the tricks of his deceitful trade. Your mission, discern which one of his disciples is telling the truth. Each guest will cost 500 gil. No refunds. Investigate his pupil's potential lies by visiting notable locations around the Death Bowl. Review your notes at any time. And press L1 to take a closer look. No talking aloud in the local weapon shop. And that includes any shouts of surprise when you find out they sell elixirs too. No talking aloud? That seems like a lie. Yeah. So I need to figure out how to get into this. Shut up! Oh, it's right here. You knocked something over and disturbed the silence. I told you, be quiet or beat it. Oh. They said no talking at the weapon shop. Maybe it's true. Make a peep and you're gone. That's a promise. Whew. Okay, we made it. Um, we can't buy any weapons. We've already got all of those. Elixir fully restores HP and MP. There's only one. Let's buy it. Take care of your weapons. Okay, bye. I don't sell to rule breakers. Fuck your establishment. I'd love to check out the shops. All right, we're about ready to race some chocobos here. Well, do you think you can figure out who's telling the truth? Number two is telling the truth. Number two. You gotta check out Garf's autobiography. No talking aloud in the local weapon shop. Idiot's gonna be my next mark. Does that mean I win? Congratulations! <laughs> Their deception was no match for your powers of perception. Beware, my aspiring swindlers. Clever ones like this are harder to fool. But so long as you continue to train and apply yourselves, I can teach you to swindle even the toughest marks. Yes, yes sir. sir! As for you, rest assured that I am a man of my word. Those greens are hard to find in a place like this. Quite the handsome reward, wouldn't you say? You think the gear Esther's got is any good? All I right! Go Let's go feed Pico! All right, let's see what you found. Pico's right as rain and fit to hit the track whenever you are. Yes, right now. When you're ready to head up to the stadium, just speak to your babysitter over there. <laughs> oh, before you go, if you happen to have any more greens, consider trading them in for racing gear. Vegetables are hard to come by down here, so I'd be happy to buy yours. Oh, I do have. Hey, nice find, Merc. I have, I have. Headdress, cloak, leg wraps. Ooh, let's get the cloak. You guys ready to race some chocobos? Pico's as ready as he'll ever be. If you can't win, you got no one to blame but yourself. All right, I gotta talk to you. I'm ready so, to race. You ready or what? Yeah, I am. About time. Let's get this show on the road. Come with me. Actually, on second thought, I'll take him up top. Does that work for you? Oh, yeah. Say what? 
<laughs> Fine. You want to go roll in the hay with this idiot? Go wild. And on that note, follow me. I like your bow tie. It's hard to believe this is the same Pico that nearly died in the desert. You should have seen him that first day. I'm the bird the whisperer. Poor, boy. poor dirt than Chocobo. Couldn't so much as give us a quail without coughing up sand. He's a whole new bird now, though. Might even have what it takes to win. Question is, do you? Even the fastest Chocobos can't win Jack without the right jockey. I've seen my fair share of promising birds wasted on riders who didn't know their asses from a hole in the ground. Believe me. <laughs> in the racing world, it's all about who's holding the reins. No pressure, though. Okay, on you go. Competing in the race today? Yep. We'll get your bird prepped for you. Just sit tight in the jockey lounge. And no wandering off, okay? Really? <laughs> We're running into me. A bug boy? Hmm? <laughs> hey there, Joe. Why, Esther, you grow lovelier by the day. <laughs> uh huh, sure I do. Oh, where are my manners? This here's Joe. He's one of Sam's jockeys. <laughs> and as much as it pains me to admit it, the man's far and away the best rider in the sport. Ah, he's A the one to beat, to huh? Make your acquaintance. This is Cloud, an up-and-coming star of the track, and all ours. Be sure to wave hi when he laps you. Well, sounds like you got a fan, son. I wonder, though, you win her over with your skills, or with one of them smoldering looks? <laughs> Ladies love Don't the smoldering like look. About time I had some competition, assuming Esther's not full of it. For both our sakes, I hope she isn't. Forget him. The race is starting soon, so stay focused. Speaking of, you might want to consider practicing. The sim here can help with that. Yeah, I better practice. I'll practice once. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, if you want to brush up on your jockey skills, you can practice. Oh, look at okay all right this looks intense um even if you have never raced a day in your life compete completing the sims various tutorial objectives will ensure you're ready to compete steer speed up slow down and drift press x when the countdown hits two to begin the race with an explosive start Okay, let's do this. When it hits two. I don't know if that was feeling very explosive. Whoa, okay. more of these blue balloons you collect the faster your chocobo will run each balloon raises a bird's speed level by one for a maximum of 10. when you run into obstacles or collide with other chocobos your speed will increase or decrease collecting these red balloons will fill the ability gauge once your ability gauge is full press l1 to activate your chocobo ability Remember that each type of chocobo has its own unique ability. Oh, okay. Blue is speed, red is ability, yellow is... Wow, this looks so much like Mario Kart. <laughs> um, 
will add a charge to your dash gauge. As long as you have at least one dash charge, you can press R1 for a short burst of speed. You can only stock as many charges as there are in your dash gauge though, so use them when you can. Where's my... Okay, I see. in under 30 seconds. Well, it, if it would let me use my dash ability... seconds? How can I go any faster than that? Get me out of here. <laughs> I said quit, did I not? Hey, Gus Gus. Now you're really gonna buy Rebirth. Dude, why haven't you bought it already? Buy it. We could team up, take Joe down a peg. Look at all this food. It's a trap. They're trying to make the riders like have a full stomach so they weigh more. And then Joe can win. Joe. Hey, I'm trying to manifest a win here. Dude, it looks so good. They have burgers, sandwiches. I don't know what's in those wrappers. Maybe wraps? or burritos well those are really skinny burritos but they kind of look like the mcdonald's burritos the breakfast ones speaking of mcdonald's are those chicken nuggets and then they have all the pastries and donuts
This is dangerous. Well, try not to get trampled out there. Popcorn too? I'm Jeez. just brushing up on my bird calls before the race. Hyperion is Joe's bird, and it's a fast and rugged Hyperion, son of a Hyperion, Jesus. Have to win. We'll begin shortly. All participating jockeys, please proceed to the paddock. Let's go. You good to go? Yes. 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 Each bird is unique, but they all possess the following ability attributes. Speed, acceleration, weight, cornering, strength, and intelligence. Depending on the distribution of these attributes, the bird can be faster or easier to handle. For a more in-depth breakdown, speed and acceleration will obviously make chocobos run faster. More weight will make them fly shorter distances, but also be harder to knock around. Cornering helps chocobos turn better. Strength keeps them from slipping around, and intelligence affects the potency of their chocobo ability. A chocobo can wear gear on three different parts of their body, the head, torso, and legs. Each piece of gear has its own set of attributes that can augment your chocobos. In addition, gear comes with a unique skill that activates automatically when you meet its conditions. You can save up to four sets of gear, three racing sets, and one world set, which is the gear your build will wear when it shuffles, shuttles you around the world. Okay, so this is what they were talking about. Oh, jeez. Okay. This looks good. Sure. Let's race. <laughs> Come on, Kyrie hat. Don't let me down. my <laughs> any bets someone want to make a prediction here's a secret i survived that recent shooting <sighs> you're not talking about the coliseum are you yes i was there or i would have been had i not gone to the bathroom just before that's amazing <gasps> you're so lucky aren't i just <laughs> Which is why I know my bird's a winner. <laughs> Ooh, what a scrumptious looking parfait. And with plenty of butterscotch, I see. Bottoms up. Ooh. <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> oh, it looks so good. Why are they making me so hungry? <laughs> Donuts and hamburgers. Got eyes parfaits. on it. Oh, I'm fine. Thanks. Jesus. Do you know how hot it is out here? I'm melting. God, what asshole decided our uniforms had to be black? <laughs> I'll be there as soon as I can. You freaking better. And bring something cold to drink. Or better yet, ice cream. I, it, Is vanilla no, okay? No, vanilla. Seriously, I'm getting heat stroke over here. I'm gonna die. You want that? Do ya? <sighs> Wish you were here, partner. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god, oh my god, stop bumping into me! I 
need more speed. I have a need for speed. Shit. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. place are we in third can't this thing go any faster come on pico Shoot? But my opponent is too far away. No. Pico, let's go, Pico! Go, Pico, go! Go, Pico, go! Yeah! I won! Hope you guys all voted for me to win. <laughs> Woo! I knew I backed a winner. You're the real deal, kiddo. I just provided the encouragement. Mm -hmm. And thanks to you, my prison's gonna be a goddamn palace. Good for you. Ooh, so frosty. But here in the desert, we like it hot. Fiery, dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Now where's our guy? <laughs> Easy, Snowflake. Solemn Gus is a man of his word. Are you scared I'll break my promise? That tunnel over there will take you where you need to go. Past all that quicksand like a slippery little sidewinder. And at the other end? One of my beautiful vultures will be waiting to guide you through the desert. So be a good tourist. We got old Shooty McShooterson tied up nice and tight in a shack out in the scrapyard. But now he's all yours. Turn him over. Give him his just desserts. It's your call to make. 